In this video, we are going to be talking about absolute value functions that have vertical stretching or compressing involved. I have my parent function here, y equals the absolute value of x. If I have y equals a times the absolute value of x, I will have a vertical stretch or a vertical compression involved. If a is greater than one, that is a vertical stretch. If a is between zero and one, the graph is flattened out. That is a vertical compression. Now teachers use different terminology for these sometimes. Some teachers will call it a stretch and a shrink. So if a is greater than one, we will have a stretch and then it's flattened out if A is between 0 and 1, it is a shrink. Some teachers will think of the stretching up, getting it tall and skinny, and the compression is widening out and getting fat. They will call it skinny and fat. For our video, we are going to use vertical stretching and vertical compression. Let's find a few points on the graph y equals 2 times the absolute value of x. If I plug in negative 2, y will equal 2 times the absolute value of negative 2, which will be 2 times 2, which is 4. If I plug in negative 1, I will have y equals 2 times the absolute value of negative 1, which will be 2 times 1, which is 2. If I plug in 0, y will equal 0. If I plug in 1, y will equal 2. If I plug in 2, y will equal 4. Let's plot these points. This is the graph of y is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x. This is a vertical stretch because a was greater than 1. Let's graph y equals 1 third times the absolute value of x. Once again, I will find points on this graph. If x is negative 3, I will have y equals 1 third times the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. 1 third times 3 is 1. What about negative 6? y will equal 1 third times the absolute value of negative 6, which is 6, and 1 third times 6 is 2. Once again, I'm going to continue plugging in points, and now I will graph these. This is the graph of y equals 1 third times the absolute value of x. Did you notice that our a was between 0 and 1? And this graph is a vertical compression. So if I have y equals a times the absolute value of x, I will have vertical stretching occur or vertical compressing. If a is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch. If A is between 0 and 1, it is a vertical compression. 